How's it going, Nerd Slinkwood here, and today is another episode of our favorite game ever. By favorite game ever, I mean the only Let's Play on my channel right now, because it's the only thing that I can actually fit in to record. Ain't that a doozy. Anyway, you know, I, last episode we did stuff, we talked to people, we talked about starting a team, we might be starting a team, we might be part of that said team. Something on my keyboard, let me get that off. Today, for a drink, I have a blue cherry Gatorade, which is absolutely delicious. And, mm. So, might have a new mic set up soon, so I won't keep sounding like this, with like all the mouth sounds, just... I don't know if it's just being nitpicky or what, but I hate all the sounds. I don't know. Let's get right back into it. Whatever. I'll figure this out tomorrow. Fade out coming in. Fade out coming. Oh, oh. And you had to convince her? Seriously? She's been talking this up to me for the past two months. It's a big change. Plus, I just met you guys. I'd be hesitant too. Hmm. <laughs> Axel grins, no doubt. Replaying Jet's angst in his mind's eye. This <clears throat> mm. Delicious. Getting it on the ground floor is a major plus. You were in right place and right time. If it works out, that is. Ax Axel glances over his shoulder before returning his attention to me. Most teams barely play their players or anything. I've got a good for someone my age, but even I have part of my winnings taken for the team's benefit. Yeah, don't they like with like the giant pots? Like they, they have to split it up. I know for league and stuff like that, you have to split it up five ways for every single player. And then uh, I think already 40% of it, something like that. Something big, maybe like 20 to 40% of it is taken and uh, just like by the people who run it. You just keep earning it, and then the rest goes to the players. So, like, out of a million dollar jackpot, each player would probably get like 60,000, 70,000, maybe. I mean, I don't. Yeah, around there. Something like that. I don't, I don't really know the entire gist, but they don't get that much. They don't They don't get the, like, 200,000 each. I know that much, but. Yeah. A little bit of math. Ouch. Lucky for Westerners, there that isn't a trend that is caught on outside of Korea. So... Mm, ellipses. I can't do it. It's impossible to words simply will not come. Wit. Oh. Uh, yeah. yeah. Axel lets out a laugh, Gen genuine and highly amused. He tries to get his words out, and unlike me, mentally... And unlike me, eventually ends up succeeding. Mm, I know I can't. Sorry, Mac, but no can do. I've signed with Crash to the end of this year. I'm not allowed to play for anybody else until my contract is up. As expected, I really, I really, uh, as I expected, really, it shouldn't come to a surprise. I sigh, fall back in my chair, and rest my palms atop my head. I had to ask, Jet's expecting me to pick up our players while she handles the management and sponsorship side of things. Hey, well, I can help you with the next best thing. I'd be thankful for any help at all. Don't you worry. I've got a short list of easy pickups. An extremely short list. <clears throat> he clears his throat. There's only one person on it, but hey, better than nothing, right? Uh, who, who is it? Oh, straight to business. Eager for your bunk bed, I see. Trust me, Mac. You'll want the bottom bunk. Oh, yeah. I always go bottom bunk. Because I never like like climbing up there and like having to climb down. Because I was scared of like, falling off. Because I fell off one of those before. And I got bashed my head. And it really hurt. And I used to have like a top bunk. This is story time. Story time with Link. But uh, I had a top bunk once. And I was up there. And there was like a ladder part where you would climb up to it. And it had like a thing exposed because it was like a ladder that you can move kind of thing. And uh, I turned over and I bashed my left eye. And that is what I scratched the cornea or something. And basically I couldn't see out my eye for like a day and a half. And it was like a fully black eye. And now I don't know if it was a straight cause for it. It could just be a placebo effect. 
but I see a lot worse out of my left eye than my right eye. So I have to get like gla my glasses according to that. Anyway, <laughs> you know from experience? Sure do. When I was 16, someone up jumped brood work some up-jumped brood war clan scraped me from the bottom of the barrel and set me up in their overcrowded sweatshop of a team house. I'd sleep above someone at least two years past a, great, a graceful retirement. I've seen solitaire players with better APM. He snored a lot. APM is actions per minute. For people who didn't know, I'm gonna take a drink of this blue cherry and you all get to hear the deliciousness of this. I almost choked there. <laughs> Probably not the best thing to do. But. As horrible as he's trying to make it seem, Axel sounds closer to wistful than bitter as he recounts his first year as a professional gamer. What, what happened to the team? Sponsor flaked. Team didn't have the money for legal action. Coach didn't tell us until 20 minutes before rent was due. Someone stole my mouse pad as we were moving out. And that was the end of my StarCraft career. It's rough in the streets, man. Wait, no, it kept going for seven years after that, and somehow still isn't over. I always forget that part. What? Axel. Top Korean Terran. Master storyteller. <laughs> anyway, this guy's name is Stunt. Plays Protoss. He's pretty good. Hmm. But? But? Does there have to be but? I mean, everybody technically has a butt, right? Because we poop for him. Everybody poops, so everybody got a butt. That's all I'm saying. Everybody, everybody poops, everybody got a butt. Butt poops, poop butt. Yeah. I'm sensing a butt. I mean, I can sense two in this room. But, um, it's a small butt. <laughs> all the innuendo. He's incredibly cheesy and maybe a touch arrogant. And he's a high schooler. But he's good. Sounds like me. <laughs> Neat, cool, friendly, obnoxious, overall humblest guy I know. Nice to meet you. Why haven't any other teams picked him up on that ca in that case? He shrugs. I get the feeling that Axel genuinely doesn't know, but he's anxious, nonetheless. Still, it's important to have at least some kind of racial distribution on the team. What? Okay. Not in terms of foreign or Korean, mind you, but rather Zerg, Protoss, Terran. There we go. This just needs confirmation. Hmm. Do you know how I could get in touch with him? I could give you his info for a friend request, but he'd probably block you on the assumption that you're a gold seller or something. Your best bet is to find him in person at Stomping Grounds. Ooh. His Stomping Grounds? What do you mean? Where? No, no, Stomping Grounds. That's the name of the PC bank he's usually at. Ugh, another trek across Seoul. I've never heard of this place, much less been to it. Axel takes notes of my frown and wags a finger at me. What, you fly halfway across the world and can't be bothered to walk for half an hour? Take the subway if you're that lazy. No, no, it's fine. I shouldn't expect this to be easy. Yeah, it's kind of life. Now we're talking. Now, now we're talking. Get going. I'll keep an eye out for your next player in the meantime. Thank you. You're, you're a really nice man. I like you. I might just make these 20-minute episodes. Yeah. You know what? We're going 20 minutes. Every single one of these. It takes longer to render. I don't even care. I checked him out on my phone for the second time after reading the sign for a third. This is definitely stomping grounds. A deep breath helps calm my nerves. Seconds later, I push open the glass door and make my way inside. Pretty much as expected, computers, vending machines, tables, and the sound of two dozen mice and keyboards. PC bings are nothing if not similar to one another. When a shiver runs down my back, I realize that the AC in here is cranked up ridiculously high. Oh, just the way I like it. I read somewhere that casinos pump in oxygen to keep their patrons awake and alert. Maybe this place has tried to adapt the same tactic to their cafe? A middle-aged woman sits behind the front desk. She glances up at me when I pass by and then returns her attention to the magazine slayed out in front of her. Quick scan of heads lined up in the monitors offers me a few potential stunts amidst the sea of scrubs. By Axel's description, he's short and has bleached hair. That's half me. I bleached my hair. And I'm gonna do it again, cause like, it looks... I mean, it's about four inches, five inches now. And like half of it is bleached and half of it isn't. 
So I'm gonna re-bleach it eventually and probably dye it something because I, I like color. Alright, sue me. <laughs> I'll be able to narrow it down quickly and confirm his identity with a look at his monitor. He's in the middle of a ladder match. And he's playing StarCraft 2 with one hand, the other occupied with a game on a cell phone. All the same, Stunt's crushing his opponent with a rush build, and by the look on his face, he takes great pleasure in the fact. His enemy sends a salty one-liner before <laughs> dropping a game dropping out of the game without a GG. <laughs> Stunts grins wide and puts his hand behind his head satisfied. After checking the post-game stats, he glances over his shoulder and then spins his chair around to find him, find me watching him. Did he like put down his phone, or is like his phone still on, and just on the table, just like a middle of a Pokemon Go game? Just like, dude, you gotta finish that. Hey, come on, that was, that's called Pokemon Pokemon Shuffle. <laughs> Pokemon Go is not the same thing. It's not the thing where like you can walk around the world and you can see Pokemon through your phone or something. <laughs> No, look, I'm not good with names, alright? Look. Blame Obama. Uh, is that something you want? Oh, this dude is my spirit animal. Alright, this kid, this him right here, he is my spirit animal. Yes, I would. Thank you very much. Yep. Look, look at his face. Ugh. Yeah, you're stunt, right? That's me, and who are you? Ugh, ugh. Uh, I'm Mac. Hey, what's up? Stunt lights up, stands upright, and plants his head on his hips all at once. Oh, right, the foreigner that Axel messaged me about. I uh, was starting to think you wouldn't show up. Let's get this bet match going. Hey, everyone, the bet match is on! I imagine that's how he yells, mostly because I can't yell because I have a house full of people behind me. That's the lot you're gonna get. <laughs> Wait. Damn it. Really, Axel? Really? Like, right now? Before I can attempt an explanation, a crowd of six or seven middle aged, middle school aged kids form behind the stunt. I don't see myself talking my way out of this. Betmatch, right. That's me. Yes. <laughs> my name is Betmatch. Yes, yes, yes. Betmatch. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. A foreign girl is going up against stunt. Is this a bet match or a Donation. <laughs> what will I learn? He's the cafe's best player. He's done. You buy me a juice with your winnings? So I ignore the peanut gallery. <laughs> I always loved that phrase, the peanut gallery. He takes a step forward, sizing me up. Judging by his appearance, it looks like he has just started high school. I'm almost a head taller than him. Axel <laughs> said you were down for 15,000 won bet. But come on, you can do better than that. That's a lot of... That's a lot of money! Like, three milk teas cost six thousands. Thirty-fifty- What? How much were you thinking? Don't- Don't go through with this! Twenty-five thousand is a much better number, wouldn't you say? Come on, you have to drag your ass all the way here to play. Let's make it interesting. Oh boy. That's what, twenty dollars or so? Eh, that ain't too bad, I guess. I, I'm bad with pricing, so... I had to skip a few trips to Gilmart, but I can't risk having him turn me down. Okay, fine. 25000 What are we going to do about maps? Best of three, right? Nah, best of one is fine. My time's too valuable. In a show of good face, you can pick the map. Oh, I want to beat this kid so much. I, don't, I just love his hair. It's like the green little tips. Like how, you know how people like, get frosted tips and stuff? I don't know. It's like the green ones look cool. I actually wasn't kidding, but the kid about the kid's cockiness. Whatever. At least I can choose a map with a long rush distance. Find a seated computer nearby that's not so close that we could catch a glimpse at each other's screens. I lo a locked window stares back at me as I sit down. Of course, I need the pay to use the PC. Before I could head back to the front desk, stunt slides in front of me and takes the mouse. Yo, I got it. Consider an investment for the key you're about for the money you're about to give me. He unlocks the machine with a few clicks and the entry password. Huh. That works. Oh, does he like is he like does he does his family own the place or something? Like does like his mom Wait, was his mom the person who was there like opening in the first place? I'm breaking this down, I'm breaking this down. After I thank him, he slinks back. He slinks back over to his setup. 
Stunt shares a few comfort words with the underage crowd behind him, and then throws his headphones on. I host a game and toss him an invite. It's not long after that, I'm staring down my base and six worker workers. <laughs> Young and untrained talent favors unorthodox play, but oh, we we're not friends. I'm sorry, Mac. Look, I love you, girl. Like you, waifu for this game, but you nah. I'm I'm with the Zer style. That's all I'm saying. Cannons, two gate, four gate, blinks, proxy robo, proxy stargate. There are a dozen different ways that stunt could end this game early. As precaution, I scout around the interior of my base to ensure that I am not being cannon rushed. And as I discover, I am just outside my vision range and closely close to my work and dangerously close to my worker line. A cannon finishes building. Some losses in defense are inevitable, but I can handle this well and should be put, should, should put me ahead of stunt. It's gutsy of him to risk a best of one on a strategy like this. Practically all I have to do is scout it to score a victory. By microwing by micro -ring, my injured SCVs away from cannon shots, I'm able to end this rush at a low cost. In truth, they seem like an, exp an exceptionally weak attack. Was Axel hyping this kid up for nothing? I end, up on, I end up only losing three of my workers by the time his single cannon is dead. Now, where is that probe? There it is. With his probe down, there's no way he'll be able to drop down any more cannons. Still, he's probably planning his next move. I have to decide what, come ne what comes next. If he's transitioning into something standard, this would be perfect time to counterattack. His stuck has to be lacking. There's... N so there's no way they'll have strong enough units to defend a marine attack. And while it seems incredibly unlikely, there's always a chance that he might have another attack ready. If I want to err on the side of the caution, I could stay in my base and simply tech up. But that might give him enough time to get into the game. I should make this call based on what I know about his playstyle. Uh... make that choice next time so have a great day know you're beautiful and i hope you enjoyed which you might have i don't really know you could like leave a like if you did or dislike if you didn't and yeah you know subscribe because saw oh, that youtube money <laughs> go for that youtube gold <laughs> <laughs> anyway I'll see you all in the next video. <gasps> I got some jerky too. I'm just, I'm, I'm fuming. I'm really upset. You know, you see my tweets about it. I'm not even gonna play anymore. Just please go subscribe to his second channel, which is beyond the screen right now. Please go over there.